Hi, Edie. I'm Casey Musgraves. Welcome to my home here in Nashville. Come on in. This is my fun little entryway. There's a lot of little tchotchkes and things here that mean a lot to me. With this house, I've tried to like really embrace a minimalistic style. And that's hard for me because I like to collect things as I go that remind me of a place I was in or whatever. So this kind of area is dedicated to like the collections of things. I've got a lot of my crystals here. I really love that you can own a piece of the earth that's like millions of years old. When I zoom out, that kind of blows my mind. And a lot of this stuff I found just at antique stores, estate sales, that's one of my favorite things to do is to get up on a Saturday with the uh, the early birds and like you know try to find some bargains at estate sales you know I've got some cool pictures here this is my grandmother and her dad in Dallas in the 40s looks like she's a little sassy about something here's my grandpa look how cute my sister's a photographer she had a family project where she made us all pick our favorite colors. Pop's favorite color is yellow, so he obliged us by letting us dress him up like this. He was like, this is ridiculous, but I think he secretly loved it. Some fan art that I really loved that someone made of me, that they just cut pieces of paper, and I was like, that doesn't even really look like me, but I just kind of like it. Pepper, come here. This is Pepper. She's a rescue, she's a pound puppy, and she's batshit crazy. <laughs> This is the art room that I admittedly don't use enough. I'm gone a lot and then, you know, whenever I'm here, I don't always have the energy to be creative again, but whatever I do, I really love this room. It's got the most amazing natural light. This jade plant I'm really proud of. She's from a tree that was about 95 years old and she's happy in this corner and I'm like, hope you stay that way. This is my craft space. Lately, I have been interested in clay work, pottery wheel. I'm kind of honestly like really jazzed about that. I had a pottery class last night. That's my new favorite thing. I really love macaws. My grandmother, she had lots of macaws, parrots. My mom grew up with a monkey at one point. My mom had six brothers, a half sister, a monkey. They had a pet skunk at one point. Macaws have been like a, a recurring kind of a spiritual thing that has come up in really random kind of serendipitous ways for me. And so someone told me that I really think a lot of them, they were like, keep macaw feathers around you. So I do. I've got a framed joint from Willie Nelson. That's gonna stay there unless I need to break it in case of emergency. This room is one of my favorites in the house. The color is called Dead Salmon, which is kind of a vibe, I guess. But I wanted everything to be the same color of the ceiling. I love a monochromatic moment. This was one of the original things that was in the house. I really love this fixture a lot. This is probably the most musical room of the house. It's where I kind of feel most inspired to kind of pick up my guitar or like kind of work on a song idea. And actually I just got this guitar that I want to show you. It's from the 1860s and it's a little Martin. It's very lightweight. If you hear that rolling around in there, there was a rattlesnake tail in there whenever I got it. And it was apparently like an old superstitious thing with musicians where they'd put that in there and they thought that it would bring them song luck. So I'm leaving it in. Oh God, it's really out of tune. It's really out of tune. But it's a good guitar for like finger picking and this is really lightweight, but it's also kind of comical because it came in this coffin case is what they call it. It's so threadbare. It's like you could look at it wrong and it would like fall apart. So I need to figure that out. But I think for now, this guitar is probably just gonna stay in this room. These shelves are so fun. Like I found this set of books at an estate sale, which I loved. This is one uh, record that I love a lot. Mercedes Sosa sang this version of Gracias a la Vida, which I covered on my last album. Yeah, I, I heard the song and I was floored. And anyway, someone gave me this. Hey, remember these? They're just really fun. Then they kind of makes me angry and then I have to walk away. This is my mom. This is a really great picture of her that I had blown up. She was probably about 18 or 19 in this picture and just full of her Texan Leo sass. I took piano lessons back in the day whenever I was little, but I would always get in trouble for playing by ear and not just like actually learning how to read the music. I actually wrote camera roll on this piano. It has a really warm, kind of unique sound. If I have kind of a song idea, I'll kind of toy around mostly in this room and I actually have had a bunch of new ideas lately. So after you guys leave, I might play around with some. This is my kitchen. I love this kitchen so much because of all the natural light, the big windows. And my favorite part of maybe the whole house is my plant wall, which plagues me and excites me at the same time. But it's just so pretty. And I think that these little babies get a lot of natural love. Okay, so my current favorite plant is this little baby bonsai right here. My boyfriend gave this to me for Christmas. It's a cherry blossom. So whenever it matures 
and eventually can shape it like a bonsai, which I know nothing about and it actually really stresses me out. It's supposed to like bloom and look just like an actual like cherry blossom, but just mini. Seems like it's happy. I don't know, I'm just gonna pray for it, put it on my prayer list and I actually joined a bonsai society here in Nashville. I haven't been to a meeting yet, but I'm really hoping that it's like me and just like a bunch of old people. I'm really hoping. So I'll let you know how that goes. This was one of my latest little sets, kind of raw edge ceramic. And then there's another like little hand-built piece that I just did, there's my signature. I think I love clay work because, well, first off you're working with like earth material and I feel grounded afterwards, like working, getting my hands dirty. It's also really meditative and kind of hypnotic. I don't know, there's really no right or wrong. You don't have to be good. Even the mistakes like look really great. Excuse me. So yeah, that's been a really fun outlet for me. This lighting fixture was originally in my bedroom upstairs, but I thought it would be really cool down here. And there's actually kind of another recurring theme here with orbs. I was going through a big life change and orbs were like kind of a symbol for me, maybe full circle. When I'm home, I cook. One of my boyfriend and I's like favorite thing to do together is to run to Whole Foods, get all the yummy ingredients, pop a bottle of wine, put on some music and just like have fun together in the kitchen. So this is a really, really great space for that. Watch your steps. I love a sunken living room a lot. This house was very different when I moved in, but I instantly felt drawn to it. There's a lot of craziness in my life, so I really wanted a really serene space to come home to that felt kind of like, honestly, a spa and a place where like I could find room for my thoughts. I do love modern like architecture and lines, but I get wary sometimes with like modernity being, is that the word? <laughs> being like sterile and kind of cold feeling. So it was really important for me to have a lot of different textures, maybe of the same tones, sexture as I call it. This is interesting. This was found at a French like antique store. It's a hornet's nest that was actually built around a basket and it kind of terrifies the shit out of me at night. Like I like it because it's like earth texture. It almost looks like a woman's bodice or something, but like at night it's like scary. So like sometimes I take it down. So I'm like, I don't look at it. <laughs> Let's go in here. It's kind of fun. I found this travertine table on, I think it was either Cherish or like First Dibs, which I get in trouble on, that and Zillow. I'm like, why am I on here again? Like, I'm just, no. But I found this table and I knew I loved that. And then this pop of yellow was really fun too. Let me show you guys my little watering hole, my bar area. Here's another thing I made. I sculpted this in this class that I did with all these old ladies. This was like summer before last. The object of the class was to take a four-legged animal. It can be any animal. Okay, I'm feeling the, some camel energy right now. So, and then actually not that long ago on tour, I was at an antique store. This really like super old man had this really cool store and this was in there and it like really caught my eye. And he said that it was popular for English artists in the 1800s to travel to Africa and paint the scenes that they saw. And I'm a sucker for a gradient. So I was like, I want you. And they made, made friends with my camel here. I haven't named this camel yet, but what am I doing? Nadine, her name's Nadine. I love this guest room so much. My favorite part is this bed. It's from the 1800s and it's French. I just think the detail work is so beautiful on it. It's so like feminine. And I think it's a nice juxtaposition to kind of all the other stuff in the house. It's kind of leans mid-century or a little bit more modern. Definitely an eclectic like grouping of style. You can't really put your finger on, but I kind of like it like that. Here's Karen again. <laughs> I don't know how Karen got two features in this house. I'm guessing this is like late 70s, probably really early 80s. And if you'll notice in this picture, this was when Coca-Cola was still a three liter and had a metal screw cap. So I think that's like a fun timestamp to the photo. This bathroom is basically exactly how it was whenever I moved in. And what's interesting, if you'll notice like all the, the nude sketches kind of from floor to ceiling, in the house that I was in previous to this, an idea that I had for a bathroom in that house was to do like floor to ceiling nude sketches as I was collecting them at like state sales and stuff. Well, long story short, I moved into this house and it was already here. And I was like, that's kind of interesting, just the serendipitous idea. So I left it like this. They're all done by this artist named Hazel King. She's passed away now, but I just think it's such a cool idea for wallpaper. Oh, there's a little spider there, which is my worst nightmare where to go. Oh my God. If you see it on me, you better tell me. 
really love this plant. I'm reading that they kind of need like full sun, so I might have to move him soon, but I just really love kind of like the Dr. Seuss meets Japan nature of this tree. It's a French blue scotch pine, if I'm remembering right. I'm just like praying for it. This mirror is all made of bone. I found this at an antique market as well, along with these two yellow stools. So this is like extremely old. It's I wanna say Moroccan or Persian. This is another first dibs find. It's from the 70s, it's a Murano. Again, an orb, it's kind of pulling in the yellow. I really love that one. This is like such a fun little tchotchke right here. Edie Parker, they make really fun smoking accessories, like tabletop lighters, and they're like super heavy, and there's also an ashtray that like fits on there, but they uh, did this for me, put my initials on it, but it's like, it's kind of fun. <laughs> Here we are in my bedroom. I feel like I spend most of my time in here. Like this is my favorite place to be. I was in love with the shelves, but this room was like really dark green. Like I've totally changed it. This piece of selenite is so freaking heavy and so big. I've got some coral, some more quartz and stuff up there. This headboard is really fun. It was custom made for this space. It's freaking massive and it's kind of that like boucle shearling type texture. This painting is one of my favorite things. Lucia Lopez was a Cuban artist in the like 50s and 60s. She did a lot of really amazing kind of cubism, but I really loved the actual sketch mixed with that frame. It's not something that I feel like you'd normally see together. And I really loved the juxtaposition of that kind of feminine frame with like abrupt like sketch or whatever. This is the chair I never sit in. It's uh, highly uncomfortable, but it is really cool. This is another uh, antique store find. And I kind of just piled clothes on it to be honest. <laughs> This is a commission that I had done by Christian Giorgi. She's one of my favorite artists. She paints on linen, which I think is really cool. And I think one of the things she's probably really known for is female forms, nudes and stuff like that. But she also does like abstract landscapes with like really pretty washed out colors. And it's been really cool to see her over the last like six months or a year start getting a lot of notoriety and recognition that she deserves because I just feel like she's so talented. So she did this piece for me and I think I really wanted a pop of color and happy happiness amongst kind of all the neutrality like in the space. And there's another orb and that was by accident. My sconces, we built some of those into this headboard over here too. Here's my bathroom. This is another one of my favorite spaces. It feels so serene. I feel like I'm in a spa and I really love it. This is the first house I've ever put my creative kind of mind into. And it's the first time I've ever been able to like express myself like in a home sense. So it was really fun for me, but this bathroom is totally different and just try to keep things really minimal. Like I love the, the knobs being just like, I guess they're quartz maybe. Um, and the sconces kind of just being, again, just like super, super minimal. This is where I kind of sit and do my makeup. This was another antique find, an old mirror. I just love the bowl shape of this. I'd say like decently frequently, I take like a good Epsom salt bath or something, but mostly I just kind of try to run by the window. <laughs> like hope nobody's like peeping. It's just a nice fun little area where I dress and pick out my perfume and I look at sweet little mementos like for my life. So this is fun. This is the upstairs nap zone. This is where you like get really comfy. I really like the checkerboard. And my favorite part of this room is this curved window. It's also so beautiful in the spring when everything is blooming, but this table was here when I moved here and I love it so much. So I've just added some really fun things. And this has a really cool story. This poster, it's from the original Romeo and Juliet from 1968. A friend, she did all my album design and stuff for Starcrossed, which is very influenced by kind of that classic love gone wrong Shakespearean tale. So she gave it to me for my birthday and I had it framed and it has its little moment right here. Got a couple guest rooms up here. I really love this one a lot. It's a, just kind of a big mix of things I found. I got this from like Pottery Barn like years ago. And then this was an antique find. This is another 1800s painting. There's a sister that goes to it too. And this is the other upstairs guest room. Um, I love this desk in this room so much. I'm a big fan of Marfa, Texas. If you haven't been, you gotta go. It's way out in the desert, but the Prada Marfa print is one of my favorites. And then we have Sharon roller skates. <laughs> this was a present from my manager, Jason. It's uh, signed by Douglas Kirkland. There's not that many of these photographs and it's from 1979, but it's Sharon roller skates. Like what's not to love? So this is my home gym. Yeah, I got a little treadmill, some weights. I'm really lucky and thankful that I have this space to come, to come use. I kind of started putting it together during the pandemic when gyms were closing. So my favorite part is being able to come in here and jump into the sauna and sweat my ass off, sweat all my sins out.
This is my little outdoor space. Well, I guess you wouldn't call it little, but there's a lot of like magnolia trees out here. I've got some lights strung up. I have a pool back here and it's a really fun space. Thank you, AD. This has been such a blast, but I'm gonna put my sweatpants back on and um, order some Postmates, so y'all need to leave now. Bye! <laughs> Thanks.